You might not believe it to look at it, but this is a silver coin. Here, look, I'll prove it. There's some silver on the back. But it's made of over 8,000 individually colored tiles that create this incredible rendition of Frida Kahlo, a very famous Mexican artist. So let's have a good close look at it today and find out what it's all about. everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a warm welcome to you all joining me for this special coin review courtesy of PowerCoin who are an Italian based collectible numismatic dealer and they've sent some absolute stunners for us to have a look at together over this weekend. We kicked it off with the zebras yesterday and today we are going full on colour mode with an absolute stunner of a coin, the first in a new series of the Great Micro Mosaics. Now this is made up of over 8,000 minted tiles and it's very, very cool indeed. So we're gonna take a real good close look at it and find out what it's all about. Now, just for full openness and transparency, I don't get to keep this coin, but I have been paid a small fee for my time to film and edit a video. That is not in any way a quid pro quo and I'm not affiliated with this coin in any way in terms of profits. If you like it having seen this video and you want to perhaps buy it, then you can, and there's a link down in the description box to PowerCoin's website. And there's also a 5% discount code, which is byb 5 frida 23 That's all spelled out down below, but a big thank you to PowerCoin for organizing that little discount code. And I don't get any kickback from it, so if you like, you can buy with a bit of a discount. So the coin is called, and I do apologize for any pronunciation here, the Frida Carlo La Maravilla. And I think that is Spanish, but I could be wrong. It could be Italian as well. I'm not familiar with this uh, person who is, I believe, an artist. Ah, Mexican artist. There we go. So I was right. It's Spanish. So I'll read a little bit of the information on PowerCoin's website for you. So this marvelous three ounce coin is the first issue of a new series, the Great Micro Mosaic Passion 2 series. It features Frida Kahlo, the well-known Mexican artist who discovered painting as an instrument for expressing her emotions. The coin has a proof quality and an extraordinary colorization re realized with the most advanced minting technology. The unique and peculiarity of this wonderful piece is multi-layered technique which makes the mosaic levels overlap for composing a complex three-dimensional image with ultra high relief obtained with smart minting technology. So a real real special piece of minting and I'm going to just slip the capsules top off. I think I can do it without having to slide or maybe not. It's quite a tight capsule. Good capsule is always a good thing. For those of my long-term BYB ramblers you know that I do like a good capsule. So of course opening the capsule not necessarily recommended for everybody but this is actually the prototype version of the coin not a finalized proof version that will be going out for sale and you can tell it's the prototype because each coin is individually numbered on the bottom there and we've got zero 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 so 499 as a mintage um, this little plastic ring in here by the way is to protect the coin when the capsule is on so we're going to leave that in there for now because I don't really want to have to faff around getting it out again. So you can see the absolute incredible level of detail that has been created on this coin with the face of Frida herself really sort of set within the coin. Now, from my perspective, this, this is great. This is a very elegant piece and it's, you can certainly see with the level of detail of each individual tile. But I think PowerCoin might have missed a little bit of a trick here. Making the face the bit that sticks out might have made it look incredibly more special. Now, the reason I say that is whilst there's a certain elegance that you're seeing here, and it is quite cool how the kind of face follows you around the room a little bit, it just does look a little bit, it's not natural to see the, the sort of skin and everything all forced back um, within the coin as opposed to it sticking out. And it's pretty much a 2D image on the back with the um, micro mosaics coming up all around. Now, that's a design choice. It's not necessarily me saying that's, that's it. I'm not gonna like this coin. It's a design choice and I get why they've done it as well because it really does exemplify all of the micro mosaic patterns. Now, I'm gonna attempt to get as close as possible to this coin. My camera sometimes will just, if it gets too close, it will just jump into a blur mode and that's, I think, about as close as we're gonna get. So you can see here, all of the incredible levels of detail. 
Oh, another little thing that I'm seeing here is that my camera is so clever that it's tracking a face and it's trying to constantly focus on the face, not co constantly focus on the other bits. So um, we can see though that the level of detail on this micro mosaic is stunning. 8,000 plus individual tiles on there. It's a lot and it's really showed off how much detail you can get. And every single tile, of course, remember, is individually colored. And you can see that by all of the sparkly patterns on the coat, on the collar, and in the background with the different colors of the leaves and the headdress there. A real, real achievement from PowerCoin's design to get that. And it really does show off all of the detail of this particular coin. So a stunning, stunning piece. Now, the other side, let's have a look. I haven't actually turned it over anytime soon. There we go. Here we have the Great Micro Mosaic Passion 2 series. So this is a bit more of a traditional uh, kind of look to a silver coin. You really wouldn't have known it was a silver coin from that first side. Uh, let's have a quick look as well at the certificate of authenticity whilst we are talking about silver and silver content. So COA looks really, really pretty. So you can really see um, basically that what they've done is they've taken the image here and they've just transposed all of the behind into the stunning micro mosaic patterns. Uh, really nice. That's really cool. And there's like a little pattern there on the, you know, representing the tiles. I think that's very cool. Nice COA that. Uh, so on the back here, we can see all of the different parts of the coin. Uh, it's a Palau 2023, $20 coin, three ounces of silver, four nine silver, 65 millimeters, proof finish 499 as a mintage. Now on the PowerCoins website, we are seeing a price of 400 euros minus five cents, so 39995. Uh, that is of course quite an expensive piece of silver. And for those out there who might be just going, it's an expensive piece of silver, Remember that you're not just paying for the silver content. You're paying here for an art piece that's represented on silver. That's what you should be looking at here for that. I love this though. This is good. Look at that. Bright, shiny day today and the camera is picking out the silver beautifully to make an absolute stunning look. I like that. This is good. So one of my minute criticisms of the, um, of the zebra coin yesterday, here's the gold gilded version, is we didn't see necessarily like the zebra theme fly through onto the other side. But this sees that micro mosaic pattern theme go all the way through to the other side. There's hundreds, maybe thousands of tiny little individual tiles on this side too, although not in a 3D um, sort of motif with the tiles. But the words of the micro mosaic passion too, they in fact, I've just noticed it here, I think, if we can get really close to them, yeah. They're made up of individual tiny little tiles, really small, stunning levels of detail. Well done, PowerCoin. I have to say that is absolutely incredible. The amount of minting technology, smart minting technology that goes into creating these. That's why you don't pay bullion prices for products like these, because they really are something second to none in terms of their quality and their thought and their just beauty when it comes to manufacturing and production. So yeah, I like that side. I like that side a lot. And um, it's difficult to really kind of tell which is the better one quite frankly. I don't know, they both have their, they, they're just completely different. They both have their kind of allures to, the, to each side of the coin. Really, really nice, a real stunner. It's beautiful and it's interesting to see where they're gonna go with this. I've seen some of their other micro mosaic patterned coins before and they've seemed to just up the ante every time they create a new coin. More and more minute levels of detail, more and more tiles. And it's just exciting to think about where they're gonna go. So. Yeah, thanks PowerCoin for sending through uh, this coin for us to have a look at here today. I think it's a stunner. I think it's really pretty. It's uh, gonna be on their website. If you're interested, there's a link in the description box below to PowerCoin's website. And don't forget that discount code, which I will just bring up here again, which is byb 5 frida 23 I don't get any kickback from that, so don't worry, I'm not here just telling you you should go and buy it. If you don't want to because you think it's an expensive piece of silver, then don't buy it, but it is a stunner. And if you are considering buying it, then really understand the reasons why you're buying art. You're not buying a lump of silver. So there we go. Those are my thoughts and opinions on this stunner. A big thank you to PowerCoin for sending that through for us to have a look at. And tomorrow we are gonna be finishing this little mini PowerCoin series with the last coin that they sent through, the Death Head Moth. The camera's not gonna focus on it. There we go.
Oh, it's a stunner. It's a real good one. We're going to see that tomorrow. So if you'd like to have a look at that and you're not subscribed, then make sure to hit subscribe to get notifications. Hit the alarm bell. Otherwise, thank you to my ramblers for watching to the end of the video. It's always great to hear from you down in the comment section. That's it from me. We'll see you next time. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.